Team, subscribers, viewers, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the support. We are gonna talk about high temp bumper plates. We have a lot of them, as you can see. We are gonna talk about how they have held up for us. We've ordered a bunch of different plates, high temp specifically. I've had some experience with other plates, but most of the time for the past almost 10 years, 10 sounds better than nine, that this gym has been in existence, we have used these high temp bumper plates. So we've ordered some when we opened, we got some replacements in 2015, and we just ordered a couple new ones. I'll talk about the reasons in this video. So, first of all, our first plates we ordered in late 2011, coming up on 10 years. This is one of the OG plates that we ordered. Now, the plate should have a ring in this centerpiece. It would look like this. Bad plate, not so good. Good plate, center ring, all right? You want the center ring. If you don't have the center ring, then when you load the barbell up, it will look like this. Nobody wants that. That's sloppy. That's sloppy. You don't want to lift like that. So this is nine years. This is a lot of use and abuse. Now, there are guidelines on how to use these. If you have a 45 or a 35 pound barbell, you should have a 25 pound bumper plate on there from high temp. As you can see, I emailed Rogue Fitness and they said to prevent any type of wear on the plates, it would be recommended to have at least a 25 pound plate on the bar when using the 10s or the 15s to help provide additional support when the bar is dropped from higher than the shoulder. So I would recommend doing this. This one has the no ring on it. It's, it's dead. It's, it's snapping this ring off. Bring the camera closer. See this one has no ring, but then this one, like that ring should sit here, but it's folding over and you see the space that's created there between the ring, like it's peeling it off. Those 25 pound plates are thicker, all right? This will protect the weight from bending and snapping. See that bend? Yeah, yeah, not strong enough to bend. But if you're dropping this from shoulder height or above like this, with tens on there, you see how it collapses. All right, so this 25 would give it some girth. And if you've ever dropped a barbell like this, then you know that it sounds a lot sturdier and it is not ruining the plates. All right, so we're gonna stay with 10s for now. We'll talk about 25s here in a second. But the 10s hold up so well. And I'm showing you one that has knocked out the center knurling, uh, or the center ring, right? Not knurling, ring. Uh, that's not good, obviously, but we've had these, let's say, for those nine years, and on average, we have three to four days a week with a barbell, and on average, maybe that barbell's dropped 30 times in a class. We have eight classes a day. So let's say eight classes a day, 30 drops for this plate. That's 240 times this plate dropped in one day, all right? If you say times two, now you're almost at 1,000, all right? 980. So let's just round up, say we're at a thousand. Easy math is always better for the YouTubes. Now, we're going on two to four, so maybe we have that fourth day a week. In a week, this could be dropped 2,000 times, one week. So extrapolate that over the course of a year, 52 weeks, some quick math on that, 2,000 times 52. You're talking about thousands and thousands of drops, all right? So if they are not done correctly, which is below the waist with a 25 pound plate on there, or if it's not with a 25 pound plate, setting these things down, and it might look something like this, be a lift, and then a set down. That's how you would take care of the weights. This plate is dead. Nobody wants to use this plate. We still have them, we keep them around, because if you're loaded with a couple 45s in the bar, you can slap this on, and you really don't notice a huge difference. The weight should be very similar. Obviously, it might not be exact, but that is tons and tons of experience. Now, I've emailed High Temp. Owner was amazing, got back to me, 
Their staff got back to me, explained how to use and take care of the plates. They sent me new plates. It's amazing. I'll pull up the email right here. As you can see, here's the email to Chuck. Pictures below. Asked him for suggestions. He asked me for my address. Boom, weight's coming your way. Amazing. Now, talk about service. We got this plate in 2015. Still really good. Now, you can see it's getting a little bit loose. Hard to see, I'm sure, in the video, but there's a little play there on that ring. All right? You see some wear and tear, but again, this is 2015. 2015. All right? So that's still a lot of time under tension. Uh, and we know how that's important to build strong muscles, but it beats the plates up. So if we take one that we just got, it is really nice. There is no play in here. This is solid. There's no wear there. We're like here, you see it's kind of impressed in. On the back, you see it's starting to wear a little bit on the outside. I mean, these are made of recycled rubber. So eventually they are going to wear. Now, if you're using these for home use, then you could probably have these plates for 10 years and it would still look something very similar to like this because you might drop it 240 times over the course of a month that you're lifting a lot um, and you would take care of it uh, the right way. You might not drop it from overhead like this. Nobody wants to ghost ride. Don't ghost ride the barbell down. I don't care if it's try you're trying to make the time. You don't ghost ride the barbell. So if you're taking care of these, these are an excellent, excellent purchase, especially for the home, all right? Cannot recommend high temp enough. And again, I showed you the email. They literally sent me new plates because I said the center ring had fallen off. Now, this was, I ordered them in 2011 and then got the new plates in 2015. So you're talking about four years later, they're standing behind their product. That takes use and abuse in a gym. I've had a lot of stuff in here. Dynamax wall balls, rogue barbells, a lot of these things that they don't hold up to their warranty if something slightly has been done wrong. If you drop a Dynamax wall ball or throw it against the wall, they say they won't really cover that in a warranty. We took apart the rogue barbells to clean them apart. Then one of them um, was a little bent at one point. They wouldn't cover that because we had taken the barbell apart. I understand all these things. I'm not complaining about the warranties. I'm just saying high temp stepped up to the plate Literally a couple emails with the owner and his staff and then a pallet of 10s and 15s showed up. Awesome. So can't recommend high temp enough. Now, when you get to the 25s, things get a little bit dicier. So these are harder to hold together. And in the harder to hold together, meaning they take a lot more abuse and there's just more surface area, all right, more weight more banging and rattling around on that barbell. So it's bound to get loose at some point. We've probably had this 25 since we opened. You can see it's very loose. If I can get nice and close, lots of play there. Um, you see that's kind of like bumping out. I mean, this is not a great plate to have out on the floor, right? You're coming in for a class. You're coming in for a good experience. You want your stuff to be top notch. All right. Now you get one here. You see a little bit of play. Um, but there's just that a slight wear and tear around the outside, similar to this one, all right? This one was a little bit, bought a little bit later, right? 2000 and I think we bought another set of them right in 15 or 16. So that has a little bit less wear and tear than this one that's kind of like bubbling out. Now, with that said, this high temp was bought right around the same time and there's like very little movement. So it also depends just how was this treated? Especially now, we've been cleaning these things. It's got a bunch of solution in there that could loosen things up a little bit. Um, you know, how many times was it actually dropped? Uh, what was the quality of the barbell that people were using? So a lot of factors come into play. These weights take abuse, all right? I've seen some other videos of high temp reviews where they're just moving the barbell, dropping the weights as, as they've just purchased these. That's great. I'm trying to give you insight on like almost, almost 10. Remember, 10 sounds better. Almost 10 years of use. So you think about gym use. We did the math. We're talking thousands. I mean, add that up over nine years, it's probably hundreds of thousands of times this weight has been picked up, 
put over someone's head, slammed back down into the ground, all right? And the fact that they're still um, able to be used and, and held up, hold up very well is amazing. So once again, I recommend high temp, especially for home use, definitely for gym use. They do have a little bit of bounce um, in the weights, which uh, I'll go over right now as I, I lift the barbell and kind of talk through that. Now with the 25s on here, it's properly loaded. The weights weigh more than the barbell. That's kind of a rough gauge that I've heard is about right. So we have 50 pounds, 225s on a 45 pound barbell. We should be okay to drop it. The weight should be able to absorb it. So a lot more solid, no kind of folding. And obviously these have the rings in it. So that's what it's supposed to be what it's supposed to do, but the high temps have some bounce. They're not dead stop. Some of the other ones I've used before kind of get this pound into the ground and just stop. The high temps move a little bit, but they last so much longer. Some of those other weights get massive cracking through the middle way before, way before the high temps do. And I'm speaking for somebody who's used them for almost 10 years. Here's one more drop. And then of course we gotta leave you with the trick shots. Store it. The weight plate flip. Nailed it! Store it. 